This is John Bentley with the Clear Lake and the Galveston County Tea Parties. I'm here with Joanne Fleming, who is with a special group that we want to give her a chance to talk to us about. How are you doing today, Joanne? I'm doing great, John. Good to see you. I know you've been to many of these conferences, haven't you? I have. How long have you been here this time already? Um, I've been here a couple of days. <laughs> Couple it's, days. It's really fixing to get busy, and yes, it is. Everything's yes, it gonna is. Kick off. It is. You're here. We're standing in front of a sign here that says "Life, Liberty, and Property." Where we've been. Can you talk to us about yes. that? Um, yes. Yes, I'm with the Life, Liberty, and Property Tour, and we've been touring the state of Texas to tell uh, citizens of Texas what actually happens in Austin. Because you know, John, that we have elected officials that run as conservatives, and then when they get to Austin, um, they don't vote as conservatives. And so part of our cause has been to get out and talk to the folks about why it is that conservative legislation does not get through the Texas House and the Texas Senate, and even when you have Republicans in charge. So as a result of going around the state and talking about that, and we talk about a range of issues from fiscal issues all the way through the social issues, the pro-life issues, and we talk about how the legislators will bottle up good conservative legislation in committee and how it never sees the light of day, but they manage to pass Democrat legislation. So as a result of going around the state in some key areas, we have been able to help the people become better informed so that when they went to the polls in March, and in the runoff election, they were able to make wiser choices. So as a result of that, we have retired some liberal and moderate Republicans, and we believe we've replaced them with constitutional conservatives. Outstanding. So you feel like you're... Your efforts in this uh, are going really well. You think you're making good progress? Absolutely, and I'll give you a really glowing example of this in uh, Senate District 2, which was a uh, longtime incumbent, uh, Bob Duell, Ro Dr. Robert Duell's seat. That has been won by a Tea Party candidate, Bob Hall. Bob Hall will be uh, replacing uh, Bob Duell. And then also we had a Tea Party candidate, Don Huffines, who uh, beat John Corral one of the most liberal Republican senators in the state Senate. And so, you know, we've eliminated two uh, rhinos and we've got conservatives. Outstanding. Let me ask you, uh, have you got some events coming up that some of our folks could be watching for and maybe... Well, as a matter of fact, we actually have a website and we're on Facebook. If you look at LifeLiberty.com, you will LifeLibertyTexas.com, you'll see our website. And then there's a link to go there to Facebook. And you can ask us to come to your city. If you look at the map behind me, you can see here we have the blue stars are where we have been. And by the way, you see the concentration of stars here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Those are the two Senate seats we picked up. Uh, and the red stars are where we've had requests uh, to bring the tour. Well, that's so really we're, good. We're excited about getting out because uh, if there's one thing I can tell you for sure, what happens in Austin no longer stays in Austin because we're out telling the folks about what actually happens in their state government. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, we're visiting here with Joanne Fleming, who is a real war horse for the Texas conservative movement. Joanne, I want to thank you for your time. We thank appreciate you. your efforts. Thank you, John. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.